Melodyne Studio, Melody Manager. In this video, we'll take a look at Melodyne's built-in media browser called Melody Manager. With it, you can browse your computer within Melodyne for any audio you'd like to hear or begin working with. Let's take a look. Melody Manager is a built-in media browser within Melodyne Studio. With it, you can browse any drive or folder to preview and import audio. To access it, navigate to File and come down to Melody Manager. Here, the browser window opens. The left-hand column displays our directory path. We can begin here to locate a folder containing our audio. Let's navigate to it. I'll come up to Users, New User, Documents, and Melodyne Manager Demo. Here you can see our subfolders containing audio samples. Let's click on one. Immediately you can see that the audio is not only previewed in order, from top to bottom, but we actually have a waveform representing each one. I've always personally been really impressed how quickly Melodyne just gives us a waveform representing our audio. Let's click on another folder and see how quickly it can happen. That's pretty quick. Now we can begin previewing our audio here. I want to first come up to this box called Show. If I click the disclosure arrow, you'll see that we have five different ways to display our audio, beginning with tile only, which just gives us a simple play button. Let's try it. You get the idea. Coming back down to waveform gives us a different representation. You can actually click anywhere, double click, and it'll begin playing the file from that location. Pretty cool, huh? Also, our next selector box that says play gives us three choices. Plain, which means it'll cycle through just once. Cycle, which means it'll loop the audio. Let's try that here. And we have sequence, which will play each one of these in a row from top to bottom. Let's try that. Pretty cool, huh? Right now I'll come back to plane and leave it there. One other thing I'd like to show is here in the top left, our actions. When we choose an audio file, we actually have actions that we can choose to begin uh, working with that file. We can open it in a new arrangement, add it to a current arrangement, open it in MDD editor, update the file in case you're using an older version of Melodyne. We can do a batch detection, which will actually run every file through Melodyne's analysis engine, getting it ready to open up and begin working with from the get-go and rescan directory, which just rescans a directory. We also have a path folder here. Since I navigated to that folder, we now have a path line, tracing the path that I used to get here. One good thing about this is if I click on, for example, documents, it'll bring us right to this point where we started navigating and give us a much larger view with which to begin accessing a, the audio we want to start working with. Let's come back to our show option here. 
Now, the only way we can actually have a representation of these three other options is if the files are actually opened within Melodyne first. So why don't we do that? Let's select this file and come up to Actions and choose Open in New Arrangement. And there it is. Let's open up our transport bar and hit play. There. And let's go back to Melody Manager. And now if I select Show Notes, you'll see that that file we just opened up in Melody Man uh, through Melody Manager shows us the note representation, not just the waveform. We now have access to the other three options, which is also notes and waveform, which overlaps the waveforms with the notes. I know it's really small, but it does it. And wave notes, which just shows the waveforms on a staff. So we can actually open up any one of these other ones, or we can do a batch detection, which would scan them all and then gives us access to these new previews. Let's try something. Uh, let's do bass slap. Come up here and select open a new arrangement. And let's press play. <laughs> Go back to our Melody Manager, and there we have our new view. Let's try batch detecting all of these files now. To do so, you just select the folder and come up to Actions and choose Batch Detection. And we're going to select Directory Only, and you'll see, there we go. It was that fast. Now that Melodyne batch detected these, we can now scroll through different views, including our tile only, waveforms, and our notation. We can select just a certain area as I click and drag over this staff right here and hit play. Pretty cool, huh? Let me come up to tight base and do the same. I'll just click and drag over this area and press play. It's surprising how flexible and easy to use Melody Manager is. It's a great way to get file that you've imported in like a session folder. You can do a batch detection if necessary and begin working right away. Or you can use it to preview files and choose which ones you want to start working with. Melody Manager is like your built-in secretary. It's a great way to get familiar with the work you want to start doing and actually, you know, get more creative with it from the get-go. This is Carlo Libertini. Thank you for watching.